Hunter's luck is a fickle mistress. She can change her moods as fast as the African wind, delivering both disappointment and joy at her whim. As hunters, we try to hedge our bets through effort and determination, all the while knowing that even our best efforts can come up empty if luck looks the other way. But sometimes Lady Luck is in a generous mood and rewards your efforts at every turn. Today client Rolf Del Cerone enjoys a world-class hunt at Chifuti Safari's Nyonetsi Conservancy and as you will see, enjoyed 10 days in our good lady's tight embrace. Okay, the, obviously the perfect shot we want to have, guys, is a broadside shot. Let's rather cut the buffalo in half, okay, okay and then just go dead center of the leg. So you cut the center up of the leg and cut the animal in half, and you normally shoot top of the heart. Okay. Don't shoot too far back, and not too far forward. Okay. Any questions, Jim? Nope. You ready to hit the road? Yeah. You go in the front of the car if you want to have a look at them, man. I'm ready. Why are we burning Della? Let's go. We just saw some buffalo cross on the road, so we're going to go in and take a look. There's other buffalo behind. Okay, sorry. Now you bust this front leg. Look good. Look good. Hopefully we got a good hit on it. Try to get the sticks maybe from a higher angle. There's less crap to shoot. Yeah. Just hang on. Reload. On his shoulder, on his shoulder. Go. I thought he had us busted for a second. He was looking at us. No, they do. He'd seen, he, you know, I was moving to mm -hmm. get next to you and he'd seen the movement, but he couldn't tell what we were. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't happy, so he kept moving out to check what is that. Mm -hmm. And then when you move clear of those branches, then, you know, that's your shot. Well done, sir. Thank you. Good job. Hold on. That first shot was good. You bust his leg. Back. And go. I hit him through the stomach. Oh, on the second shot. When he was running, yeah, I would have punched through him. We came across, a, saw a buffalo crossing the road. So we drove up and we didn't know what it was exactly and then it turned out to be a cow. So my guide and I, my professional hunter, we walked in. Um, he saw that there was an older bull with a real tight spread, a younger bull, this bull and a couple cows. So we snuck around into an ambush position and what happened after that we had the wind right, and then the bulls and the rest of the Cape Buffalo came feeding in on us. And at that time, I, I took the shot. I was able to get a follow-up shot with that, and then we came around, making sure we were clear from all the other Cape Buffalo, and then uh, we had one more shot. And then we have this beautiful Cape Buffalo here. Oh, 
on this day in the safari, we were out looking for giraffe, looking for a very dark, mature uh, bull giraffe with uh, dark coloring. Driving out of the uh, camp area, one of the other PHs radioed in that he'd seen a beautiful dark giraffe bull. And uh, we drove into that area. Lucky for us, he was standing in the same position. Shooting, hold up. Shooting. Oh, oh it's a kick. Yeah. Is he game. done? Pretty much, yeah. This thing's skin is as thick as an elephant's. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you'll see when we skin it. That, what a perfect shot. These are just probably just scars? Yeah, that's from fighting. They fight with those horns, they whack each other. And that's why you've got this massive thick skin on mm -hmm. the neck. And... We were out at first light. I'm driving down one of the roads. And the PH uh, spotted this giraffe. Got out, got on the sticks. Uh, the giraffe started moving through some brush. Uh, I had one shot with the 458, and then ran about 20 yards. Yeah. That was it. And we have this beautiful giraffe. Well done, Rob. Thank you. Good sure. shot. It was a very windy day. We hadn't seen a lot of game. We were looking primarily for eland. And we'd heard via the game scouts that there were a lot of eland in this one area. We went over there to look. And we were passing by a water hole and we saw this big old eland bull. he just finished drinking and was moving off. Through the neck? Get him just below his ear. Just take your time, huh? Below the ear? Yeah, behind and below. Well I had to do a little foot race, so I'm excited and out of breath, so. Well then, that, Thank was, you. that first shot was brilliant, well done. Is it good? Yeah. He's old though. Yeah. Come look at him, yeah, and you see all the bones sticking out. He's, uh, he's an old man. He's all beat up. He's worn his horns down. Ideal trophy. Awesome. We were coming by this water hole this morning to check for uh, tracks. Lucky for us, we found this real old Elon bull. He just finished drinking and was moving off. Uh, we tried to sneak closer, but it's fairly open. So Rolf had to take a 260 yard shot, which he made perfectly. Hit the Elon in the boiler room. The Elon then began to run off and he took another shot at about 285 yards at a running animal and hit him, broke his back leg and put him down. As a result, we've got a real old Elon Bull, magnificent trophy, fantastic shooting.
Well done. Thank you. Good job. Appreciate it. We're going to take a walk down the river and see if we can find a water buck or a kudu bull. Awesome. Great shooting. Nice yeah, kudos. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Is this what you were saying, white tips? Yeah, and you see how they curl forward on the tops? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a good kudos, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's a nice kudos. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks. thanks. We're all excited because this is uh, one of the main trophies that I wanted to get. And uh Awesome bull. Look how beautiful and look at the horns. This is great. Put up. We decided to take a walk down the river this morning and uh, primarily looking for water buck. Two kudu bulls walked out. Uh, we saw this guy and decided to take him. He's a very nice kudu. Rolf once again made a fantastic shot and now he's got a great kudu. Well done. Thank you. Good shooting. Thanks. We still might have time for some water buck today. Plenty of time. All right, going in for take a look by the river for some water buck. Hopefully, we find a nice one. Now it's time for you to take off your shoes and get your lily white trotters wet. Okay. You're not taking your shoes off? Why not? That's why I wear these feet. Taking your shoes off? Taking your shoes off? No, oh yeah, taking yours off. Okay. No, and was <laughs> Really? What kind of animal is that? Makes that noise. Let's go. Warthog. <laughs> Got a hit one. on the water buck. Hopefully we got a good hit on him. And uh, we're marking the spot. Trackers are going to go down and hit on it. Then we're going to go follow up on it. So. Yeah, otherwise oh, it's not a secret. Okay. 
He's just gonna mop this fuck thing. Oh, he's done now. He's done now. Okay. Drop him, huh? Did you see his chest? Yeah. yeah. Take the time. Run him there. Okay, well done. Good shot. Well Thanks. Done. That was a long shot. Was it a long shot? Yeah, it was. We got him and... Uh, Jumped him in the bushes over here and uh, got some good tracking going on. Good job. Oh, he's a good one, Rex. He's a nice one, yeah. Rex, he's long. Yep. That's a nice water buck. Beautiful. That's a good water buck. That is a good water buck. You smell him? Oh, he's the oily one. Yeah. We had to earn this one. We came across this waterbuck bull in the reeds. As you can see, it's getting quite late. Rolf made a long shot. The bull had crossed the river and was standing, quartering away from us. It was a very long shot. Um, unfortunately, hit him a little bit low in the right line. The bull took off, lay down the reeds. We followed up. Managed to put him down, follow up shot, and he has a beautiful water buck ball, really impressive.